everybody, it's me, Laura Burns, and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited that you're here, and I'm very excited to be opening some boxes today. I've been really looking forward to it. I have already slit the tape on these so that I can easily jump in, but I don't know what's inside, and I am kind of dying, so I'm ready to open these up. So today I have the January Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, the January Allure Beauty Box, and um, a Tatcha order <laughs> that I placed. And I want to talk more about that order, what's inside, and about Tatcha in general. And I was going to make a whole video just about um, my skincare. And if people want to see that, please let me know in the comments and I will do a whole video about that. But I thought for now, maybe I'll just put it in with uh, this unboxing. Oh, Bugs jumping ship. <laughs> She's like, stop talking. Okay, so we're going to jump in and we'll just go um, in order of things that I'm excited about, starting with things that I typically am least excited about. Not that I don't like Allure. However, if you have been with me for an amount of time, hey, Leah, um, you will know that I have gone through an evolution of love with Allure. This used to be my favorite beauty box of all of them, and I do get a few, um, but maybe five months ago, it stopped being as great, it seems, and then um, last month when I opened it, I was like, I think I might quit altogether, and then the box was so good. It was so good, and I was like, okay, Allure, you kept me, so now we're going to see if it continues to be really good. So I'm opening it. We're going to see what's inside. We always get a booklet. So that is what is on top. And then tissue paper. And nothing immediately recognizable. Maybe Tarte. Yeah, something from Tarte. Looks like maybe mascara. Okay. So we're going to jump in. Here is the booklet that came with it. And um, I don't know what the theme is. Sometimes you can kind of tell based on uh, the cover, but like, I don't know. But she's Asian, so that's fun. I rarely get to see people who look vaguely like me and this beauty stuff. Okay, 2020 vision, new year, new you. First of all, I hate like new year, new you. It's like new year, same awesome me. Um, blah, 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 fresh box of beauty innovations, glowing skin, big lashes, whatever. I don't know. It seems like there's not really a theme. Okay. So the first thing is from Tarte and it is a mascara. It looks like we could have gotten one of two. We got the gifted Amazonian clay smart mascara. I don't know what makes it smart. Maybe they'll tell us. We could have gotten the lights camera lashes mascara that looks like this, but we got this guy. So it says, um, Coats and lengthens lashes without making them droop. One coat makes a difference. The price for this they're saying is $23. So I'll probably put this in the giveaway. Um, I pretty much only use tubing mascara now because every mascara that is not, it won't come out. Every mascara that is not tubing automatically transfers under my eyes for me. And so it's just not worth it for, for me to try because I'll hate it and then it'll be a waste. Um, Leah, New Year's same old jaded, sarcastic me. Accurate. Um, hi, Venus. I'm, re I'm uh, doing really good. I'm excited to be here. Um, so here's the mascara. It's in like this wooden tube, which is very cool. I've never had a mascara from Tarte. It looks very nice. Like if I'm going to pay $23 for a mascara, I want it to like feel nice. So this does. Um, and let's see, here's the brush. So it's like a pretty packed, lots of bristles, kind of the traditional mascara one. I'm not going to try it out because I'm going to put this in the giveaway. Um, cause I just know that I probably won't like it for my purposes. Um, if you are a normal human being that can wear mascara without everything ending up like under here, listen, I already have dark circles. I don't need any help with that. Um, it looks super nice. I'm sure it's good. It's just not good for me. All right. So next I have learned just stop trying to wear other kinds of mascara. All right. So the next thing is from Kate Somerville, which is a nice brand. I often see this 
advertised. I have tried maybe one thing from this brand before. So this is an exfoliator. It's the Exfolicate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. Um, this is not for me. <laughs> I can pretty much guess. So this says it's a cult exfoliator. So I guess a lot of people really liked it. A grainy paste works as a mask, a scrub, and a peel all at the same time. Super fine granules to slough off dead skin has lactic acid. So it's both a physical and a chemical exfoliant. If you have particularly sensitive skin, tread lightly before you know how to react. So that tells me that this is not for me. It's going in the giveaway. So you're welcome. Um, 100. Oh, geez. Um, so $75 for 1.7 ounces. So this is a quarter of an ounce. So this is like worth something. Okay. Um, a five ounce bottle is $175. OMG. Okay. Well, somebody's going to look out and get this sample. Okay. Moving on from uh, philosophy. This is the renewed hope in a jar water cream. Okay, so it says, never have I ever been so confused when opening a skincare product. You see this moisturizer looked more or less like blueberry sorbet. <laughs> okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. It melts from a fluffy whip to a watery fluid. Skin is plumper, dewier, and more hydrated. Okay, so the price for the full size is $39. This is um, about a quarter of an ounce in this little, yeah, tiny squeezy tube. <laughs> um, so it is blue. So here's the picture of it and it is blue in the picture and on the bottle it says hyaluronic glow moisturizer. So let's see. I'm sure it's sealed. It is not sealed. You know what? Right hand. I'm going to give you something. Okay. So mine in this small amount doesn't look blue or maybe it's like vaguely just like the barest tint of blue I guess in the jar when it's all together it looks more blue but let's just just really lightly running my finger over it it has a really um faint scent that would probably be described as like if it were like a air freshener they'd probably call it like fresh waters or waterfall or something like that. It smells nice. It's really light scent though. So if that is a concern for you, this would probably be okay because it's not heavy. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it smells good. I have to like really get in there and it feels really nice on my hand. Like very, it's soaked in really fast. feels very moisturizing. I mean, this, I'm going to put some on my face. My face is already very moisturized in this moment, but um, I'm going to put it. I always like a little extra here around my mouth. I get kind of dry and gross there. And then here, and I put too much. So now we're just going to do my whole face because I put too much on my hand. So a little goes a really long way because I didn't squeeze out that much. And uh, basically just did my whole face. Um, I wonder if it's a water drop cream because my God, there's right. I don't know what a water drop cream is. Do you want to tell us? Um, yeah, this just says, I mean, it doesn't say anything. They call it a hyaluronic glow moisturizer. It's a water cream. Is that the same thing? Um, Leah says it looks similar in texture to purple tail bouncy cream, which is amazing. Um, hi, Bobby. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen you around in so long. You also love the headband. Thank you for the headband love. I'm trying to wear headbands more and I bought a black one that was on my desk, but now I don't know where it is. But, um, so I thought if I get a black one, I might be more likely to wear it. Cause you know, it'll just blend into my hair. It'll be like less like of a headband moment, but it'll still be a headband anyway. Okay. So I'm going to keep this First thing that's not going into the giveaway. <laughs> um, okay. So next, looks like we have a few things left. Um, so from a car, I don't know this brand. Does anybody know this brand? A car? Um, this is the Skin Pure Lip Restoration. Um, and so it says, 
Do, do, do. Soothes cracked lips without feeling like a thick ointment. Almond and castor seed oil are, are the main hydrating ingredients with beeswax and a light citrus smell that comes from orange peel oil. So the size is $30. And I don't know. They don't tell you like how much is in the full size. This is almost a quarter of an ounce and let's take a look so it's in just a little metal tin which is really nice and cute and very reusable i love little tins like this um and then here is the product i mean it just looks like a, a balm so we're gonna try it out okay so immediately you can tell it is mostly oils because immediately when I stuck my finger into it, it started to kind of soften, you know, and like smear around, which tells you it's not like filled with a bunch of like waxes or other things. Like it got liquidy really fast. Like this is way too much. <laughs> so my lips are real gross right now. So this is a good test. Um, I had like dry skin on there. Okay, it feels good. I got way too much. I'm just going to wipe it on my dress because it's me. Um, I think that a little really goes a long way here. And there's, you know, for there's like only a quarter of an ounce in here or not even a quarter of an ounce. But like, I think this would last a long time. I really like the tin. I will say this is not for uh, maybe leaving in your car if it's summer because it's going to just melt. Because just touching it barely, it started to really loosen up. So I would say you want to keep this inside your house or somewhere um, that it's not going to melt. Uh, so in winter, you can take it in your car. But I just like in Houston, even like the most like commercial, like, you know, Blistex or Chapstick, which is like a real hard lip balm that will melt in my car. So I for sure could not take this. But also it seems like based on the ingredients, you could put this in other places. I hear it. Nope. Ingredients. Oh, it's so small. Oh my God. Castor seed oil, almond seed oil, beeswax, baobab seed oil, goji seed oil, sea buckthorn. Oh, sea buckthorn is so good for you. Um, Rosehip seed extract, orange peel oil, sunflower seed oil, rosemary leaf extract, rose flower oil, yeah, so this is like, you could put this on other places. Like, this is mostly just like a super moisturizing um, balm. So if you had like a really dry place on your face or on your arm or whatever, you could totally use this on it. I'm excited about this, actually. Um, this kind of thing is like right up my alley. We have some new comments. Um, let's see. Okay, Leah is telling us about water drop cream. It says, it leaves little watery droplets on the skin. Oh, feels really cooling and refreshing. Absolutely adore them, but most are too light for dry skin. Okay, interesting. I have not seen that before. Hi, Jamie Lynn. Hey, Ashley. Um, yay, I'm glad you caught the live too. Oh, Jamie says that hers all melt in the car also. And you hate when you don't realize it until you put it on your lips and it's like, Whoa, yes, it's so gross. Um, Spanish Fort, Alabama. Oh, so you know about the heat. Okay, so moving on, we have from Nature Lab, the Perfect Shine Oil Mist. Let me show you. It would help if I bring it up. Okay, so this is one ounce, and it is, I think, just like a spritz spritz shine spray that is also a color and heat protectant. So the full size of this is $16. Um, I'm sure, well, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think this is the full size, but you never know with products. Now I have gotten stuff from Nature Lab before. Um, they did send, I don't remember who it was, but somebody sent me, maybe Allure, um, a little deluxe sample size shampoo and conditioner, and I have not tried it yet, but I did see them yesterday. I've been organizing the products in my bathroom because I'm going to do a purge. And so um, I did see that I had the samples of that. So um, yeah, so now I'm like, like accumulating nature lab products to try. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to wait until I run out of the shampoo and conditioner that's in my shower right now, because I don't like having a lot of products open at one time. I like to kind of work through, you know, one set at a time before I open anything new, but I will try this. 
of hairstyling products, I use these, these like kind of shine sprays more than probably anything else because um, I don't like to add a lot of product to my hair. Also, I'm real lazy about my hair. I'm sure y'all have noticed. I don't do a lot to it unless it's like an occasion. Um, but I will spray this kind of stuff like kind of like from midpoint to the end just to add a little shine, um, especially if I uh, feel like my hair is looking dull. So I am excited about trying this. Um, I will try it eventually, but I do have an open one of these already. Um, and then we have a one more thing. Um, Leah says, did you ever use the Caudalie SOS serum? They feel similar to that and finish, but usually start as a gel cream. No, I never tried that serum from them, but I did use a lot of the Caudalie products and I really liked them a lot um, and would recommend them if anybody is like trying to get into skincare Caudalie was really nice for me and sensitive skin. It just, my skin got even more sensitive and so I couldn't use it anymore. Um, um, do, do, do. Venus, you're sad. Why are you, why are you sad? What's going on? Did I miss something? Um, Jamie says, I need to stop opening everything. I'm so bad about that. Um, listen, I get it. I, I'm like this now because I used to open everything and then it would like, get gross because I had opened it and like not used it. Okay. So here's the last item. I accidentally took it out of the box while I was talking, but this is from Vita, Vitabrid. I don't know this brand. Oh my God. Well, it kind of focused. Uh, Vitabrid C12 dual drop serum. So this says it is for dewy glowing skin. Um, blah, 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 blah. This serum has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. Do, do, do. So it's for moisturizing, brightening, and smoothing. And so the person, so I have to like skim through their like, I like this because blah, blah, blah. Um, so she's saying that it really helped with texture for her, which is nice because that's something that I have been working on for a while. Although honestly, like my texture has gotten so much better. More to come about that. Um, the full size of which this is hopefully not the full size because the price is $62 for the full size. Um, but this is like a really nice sample size. This is almost half an ounce. It's 10 mil. Um, and, or maybe it's a third of an ounce. That's better. Uh, and it, it, I think a little will go a long way. These serums like this, you know, it's oil. So all right, we're giving right hand. No, we'll do left hand because the right hand already got something. All right, I'm going to do one drop. And it's probably going to be way too much <laughs> for this area. We'll do the whole hand. No smell. Yeah, so if you're sensitive to um, scents, then this might be nice for you. It doesn't seem to have any fragrance. It soaked in super fast. So if you have trouble with oils and serums because they just like feel like they sit on your skin, whoa, that went in really quickly. It's like completely dry now. Um, it feels nice. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm excited about this guy. I'm trying to read the bottle, but it's um, very difficult. Age, age defying and deep hydration. Oh my God. This is so hard to read. A blend of um, some stuff. I don't know. I, I'm so sorry. I can't read. It's like light writing on a clear bottle with stuff in there. Anyway, um, whoa, that felt really nice. I'm excited about that. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, it's cold in Kansas. That's why you're sad. Oh, my God. I am sorry that you're sad, but I don't have any sympathy because I am hot here. It's, it's warm. And it was 80 on Wednesday, 80 degrees. We set a record high, which is really depressing. Um, I'm sad that you're cold though. I just wish that I was cold. I'm jealous. That's all it is. I'm just jealous. Um, okay. So that was the Allure box. Let me give you a recap. We had the full size tart mascara, the sample of Kate Somerville exfoliate, this very goodly sized uh, shine spray for your hair, the serum, which seems bomb. I'm excited about that. Uh oh, the lip stuff, which continues to feel great. 
and is really making me feel the gross like dry patch on my lip. Um, and the Hope in a Jar water cream. So of the things that I'm keeping, which is most of the items, I'm very excited about them. I'm probably most excited. Okay, here they are. I'm most excited about maybe the serum because it soaked in so fast, which I really appreciate. And I'm like, I'm, I'm a moisturizing fiend basically. And then the lip stuff, same reason. Um, so yeah, pumped about that. And then these two will go in the giveaway. So somebody's going to get a full size mascara and that is very exciting. Um, da, da, da. cat 80 degrees and humid. It's horrifying y'all. I can't get, you know what? Just throw me a bone. We have usually like two to two and a half months of cold weather and we're not even going to get that this year. It's so frustrating to me. I just want to be cold. I just want to be cold. Um, <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Oh, Venus. Yeah. So with fibro and arthritis, I'm sure that the cold is really not helpful at all. I'm so sorry. Um, Christy, 12 degrees in New Hampshire. Oh my God. Everybody tell me where you live and what temperature it is. This is so fun. Um, yes, Venus, I get it. That sucks. It's not helpful at all. I'm sorry. Um, still jealous of your cold weather, but I'm very sorry that you're hurting. That's terrible. Um, okay, so we're going to move on. This is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and I did slip the um, tape here, but I have not dug in yet, and I'm very excited. Okay, so things are falling out. Ipsy has these boxes that are not sealed here so they like open like this and it's very annoying to me <laughs> like just have boxes that are more functional as boxes I don't get it okay whatever I'm picky all right here are oh I see something from Perlice and I can't tell anything else all right so here is the paper that comes with it clean slate so this is a January box we're getting a lot of like New you, clean slate, whatever, which I'm okay with. Not the new you part. It says, this is your year. Say goodbye to what no longer serves you. Habits, feelings, expired mascara, and invite in the new. Start your year on a path that sets your dreams in stone. In stone. Okay. Um, here we go. So the first item is from Perlis. It is the Blue Lotus 4-in-1 I Adore Serum. The value is $58. Whoa. Um, so it says your under eyes are delicate. So the serum is designed to handle them with care. The four in one formula contains plant-based powerhouses like French marine plants, soy proteins, and vitamin E to target fine lines, crow's feet, dark circles, and puffiness. Okay. So um, I really like Pearly's products. So this is exciting to me. Um, I have something else in their blue Lotus line. I think it was their daily moisturizer that has an SPF in it, which is nice. Um, so it's a little squeezy tube. Just put a little on my hand so we can smell it. We can feel it and see. And this is good timing because I'm almost out of eye cream. So it's a, it's not as thick maybe as I enjoy eye cream to be, but I've noticed that a lot of eye creams that I've gotten, um, have been on this thinner side. So it doesn't mean that it sucks. It just is like different. No, um, not really a big smell. It is on the thinner side. I wonder if this is going to be like as hydrating as I want it to be. So I was using um, from oh, Nuri, Nurium maybe. Is that the brand? Um, maybe y'all will remember. I got it in a box and it had this applicator that I really like. So I was using that. That one is um, on its last leg. I probably have like maybe a week left in that. But then I found this um, little Tatcha sample of eye cream and like a deluxe sample. It was actually kind of a lot. I think it's maybe their travel size eye cream that I got in last year's Lucky Bag, which I'm going to talk about today because I got this year's Lucky Bag. Um, Anyway, and I, so I found that it had like fallen down. I was like, Ooh, I forgot about this. And so I started using it again and I realized that it is so good and way better 
than the one that I had been using. And so I was kind of like, oh, now I don't want to go back and finish this tube of this Nurium or whatever it's called. Um, Cause it's less great. <laughs> And this consistency reminds me of the Nurium and not of the Tatcha, which is the only reason I say that. But um, it made my skin very soft, although I had already put stuff on this hand, so who knows. But um, I feel like I've seen more improvement in my under eye since I got back on the Tatcha eye cream than I saw in like the whole time that I was using that other eye cream. So it's kind of a bummer, but I will try this out when I'm done with my Tatcha um and give it a go and see because it might be great i might just be like rambling about nothing and it's awesome okay so comments do 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 do, do. okay let me scroll up a lot of comments came in um oh it's about to get cold in indiana bobby's in ohio it's 27 today oh my gosh um, Jamie, I have dry skin, very sensitive, dry skin prone to, um, redness and, um, like gross, scaly, crusty patches, like very dry. I used to have oily skin, but I do not have oily skin anymore. It has changed and become something else. 34 in Nebraska with blowing snow and expecting sleet later. Oh, that sounds so nice. As long as you don't have to go out in it. That sounds nice. Um, Melinda, hi. Okay, so Leah says the packaging looks new, but you've tried the eye serum before and it was nice. Good. 64, where Jamie lives. Jamie Driscoll. Where do you live, Jamie? Um, Bobby says, I don't know if my under eyes are exceptionally dry, but when I get an eye cream or an eye serum, I still top it off with an eye cream. Oh, eye serum versus eye cream. Oh, so this is a serum. I did not even think about the fact that there might be a difference. So this is a serum. I would probably also want a cream on top of it because I feel like even just like a year ago, I was like, I don't need eye cream, blah, blah, blah. And then I like a month later, I was like, oh, I need eye cream. Because <laughs> they were looking like dry and like there's a lot of lines and stuff and they do look better than they did. So that's good. Um, I think that any moisture is good. Um, I just, I'm worried that it's not going to be enough. Okay. Do, 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 do. Leah, you're still talking about this. Not sure that it was entirely worth the price, but it was when you were more active on Instagram and you got it as a PR gift. Okay. Yeah. Use it for layering after testing. On it. Okay. So I might layer this with something. All right. I'm going to move on because I am still on the first product of this box. So the next thing we have is from Hannah Lay and it is the lip treatment in clear. So here's another lip deal. So this says it's formulated with a unique blend of Hawaiian botanicals. It's a lush lip treatment that instantly revives chapped lips. So I had not in here. It looks like the lip treatment from them in raspberry. And I had, this looks like it's a full size. I had a sample, like a deluxe sample. It was like really big. Um, the sample that I got was probably half the size of this, which is like a lot of lip product when it's like this. Um, and I like it a lot, but it has a color. And so this is like, if it's just going to be, you just want clear. So I'm going to test it out. Just kind of wiping off the excess oil that was left over from the, a car. And we'll give this a go. I love lip products and I love like really moisturizing lip products. So here you go. I mean, it's just going to be a clear goo, but where is it? Where is it? Oh my God. It's like not coming out. Oh, oh, this is not at all the same thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is looking like Neosporin <laughs> or something like that. This is not at all what I expected. All right. So then it softens up with the heat from my finger but it's really different okay so the thing that i had before from them was like a, a lip gloss but it was a treatment this is like a thick ointment kind of thing i got way too much <laughs> there's a theme here okay wiping it on my dress um yeah, I mean, you can't see anything. It's clear, right? It feels 
Well, I put too much on. Let's just start with that disclaimer. It feels nice. It's very, um, it feels like it's going to stay on my lips. Not if I like drink or whatever, but um, it's like thick, but not gross. Does that make sense? It's not sticky. It really feels like an ointment, but not as <sighs> viscous as an ointment, as like a neosporin or something. I don't know. Y'all, this is a terrible explanation, but um, this really is, it really is feel like a lip treatment, not just a gloss. So that's interesting. This is not what I thought it was. Um, cool. So they're basically like, Laura, we knew that your lips were busted. So we're going to try to help you out. Thank you, Allure. Thank you, Ipsy. Um, okay, cool. It seems fine. We'll see if it, you know, is amazing. If it does anything special. Um, oh, Bobby loves this lip treatment. I'm assuming that you have it. I mean, it feels really nice. I'm really hoping um, with all this attention to my lips today that they're going to get better because they're real gross. Um, oh, Jamie, you're the one in Alabama. Yes. Sorry. Um, Portland, Oregon. It's 39 here and raining. No one is surprised by the rain. Yes. Um, Kat, I love lip products. This mine are always dry, but can't stand sticky. So neither of these have been sticky. Just FYI, because I cannot handle sticky um, it drives me bananas, but these are both nice, not sticky at all. They feel good and they're not super heavy. Uh, they make a lip scrub that's nice in combination. I, the Hanalei brand, I think is who you're talking about. Make a lip scrub. That's good to know. I like to, um, I just make a little lip scrub myself with like, uh, sugar and honey. And that's always nice. Um, but I, yeah, I really like lip scrubs. I, I bought a lip scrub when I was on vacation in New Mexico in October. We found this, um, little store that made, um, handmade soap and bath products, stuff like that. And they also did a uh, lip balm and lip scrub. And so I bought a lip scrub in, um, I think it was like a mint flavor, I think. And I really like that. I really enjoyed using it, but I'm almost out of it. And so, um, I need to either make some or get a new one. Okay. Do, 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 do. You like lip treatments, especially after scrub. Yeah. You scrub it and then you like put a bunch of stuff on it, like trying to moisturize it. Um, let's see. Okay. So next we have a lipstick. Oh no. I just put this on my lip. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> well, that was short lived. Ooh, okay, so I wiped it off and they already feel like better between the two lip things that I have slathered on already in our 30 minutes together today. Okay, so here's the lipstick. It's from Nature's Cartel. And it is in the shade, ooh, 90s Nostalgia. That's me. Ow. Oh, okay. I got it. All right. Um, <laughs> 90s inspired beauty looks are having a moment. Duh. This brown mauve lipstick. Oh, good. That's very Laura Burns. Um, that's exactly what you need to get on the trend. Creamy, non-drying formula. Feels comfortable on the lips. It's vegan and cruelty free. Uh, okay. Well, let's put it on, shall we? This sounds like the color should be... Um, right up my alley. So here is the lipstick tube. It's just a white plastic, very clean and minimal looking. And here we go. So here's the color. This looks um, very similar to a color that I liked in the 90s from Jane Cosmetics. Does anybody remember them? They had a color called browned down red and it was so perfect. So here we go. Oh, this is not as dark as that. Oh, huh. So this color is not at all what it looks like in here. It's much lighter. It's like not at all what I thought it was. I mean, it's pretty, but it's not... I wouldn't look at this and be like, oh, that's a 90s lip for sure. This is much more like rose than like a brownie mauve. I'm going to put some more on and see. I don't know. Is 
I mean, I don't dislike it, but it's not what I was thinking. It's pretty. I mean, I'll wear this for sure. I like it. I think it looks nice on me. It's just like a little more like rose neutral than I was expecting. What do y'all think? Tell me what you think. Okay. Um, is the lip treatment supposed to be applied like lip balm or is it wear for a bit and remove? That is a good question. Apply generously to lips for best results. Use after sugar lip scrub. So I guess you're just supposed to leave it on because um, it didn't say like remove it. Um, and I would have been happy to like keep wearing that because it felt nice on my lips. Um, it still drives you nuts that a lot of the 90s nostalgia makeup is going Pam Anderson. And I was trying to look like Courtney Love or Gwen Stefani. Yes. Yes. Um, da, 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 da. Teresa, I am enjoyable to watch and down to earth. And I don't talk and talk and talk your subjects to death. I mean, thank you. But I think I do kind of talk and talk and talk my subjects to death. Um, as people like to tell me that I need to shut up and move on to the next thing. I get a lot of that in my clothing videos. Um, but thank you very much. 90s Pam Anderson, if you go with a super dark lip liner. Yeah. This is pretty, you heard you have to layer it. Yeah, that was like two like thick layers. I wouldn't want to wear more than this because it would be uncomfortable. It's pretty. I'm happy to wear it. Like I like it. It's just a little different than I was expecting from a name like 90s Nostalgia and the description of a brown mauve lipstick. That's not what I would call this. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it looks nice, but it's not 90s. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, Jamie, my clothing videos are awesome. Well, thank you. <laughs> Y'all know I just talk a lot and um, a lot of the other like plus size fashion people, you know, they're much more snappy with their videos. Um, but you know what? That's why there is someone for everyone and people who want to listen to a little more chatter can watch my videos and somebody who wants like a super snappy video can watch somebody else. There you go. Okay. Next we have from Huda Beauty, the Obsessions palette in Amethyst. So I will give my Huda disclaimer, um, uh, for those who have not heard it before, I have feelings about Huda Beauty. This is gorgeous. I've looked at these online, but I um, personally don't want to purchase Huda Beauty products like from them or from Sephora. I The only products I have from them, I have gotten in boxes and the products are good. I like them. However, um, the brand has been really problematic for a number of reasons. Um, and Huda herself, I don't remember her last name, um, has been quoted as saying things that are transphobic, things that are homophobic, um, some like fat phobic comments as well. And they straight up stole an entire uh, campaign for one of their product launches from Beauty Bakery, which is super messed up um, and never admitted it and never said anything about it. So while I'm like pleased to have this because I bet it's going to be really pretty and I'm going to like it. I choose not to purchase their items. And when I get them in the box, I do like to talk about why I don't purchase them. And so you can make your own decisions, but I'm just letting you know about me. Okay. Huda Beauty Obsessions Palette in Amethyst. Um, blah, blah, blah. Versatile eyeshadow palette. Three matte, six chrome shades. Pink and violet colors are shockingly wearable and super flattering too. Okay. Um, and telling people to put lemon juice on their lady bits to lighten the skin. What the hell? That's, yes, thank you. So I'm going to swatch these. Oh, let me get my wipes out first before I get covered in eyeshadow and then can't do anything. Okay, so here we go. Do these have names? I don't see names. Okay, there are no names. Um, dee, 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 dee. oh, Jamie, what? I didn't know who it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Kat. Yeah. And I'm not saying like, you know, oh, you're a terrible person if you bought their products. I'm just saying like, I don't like to, and this is why. Okay. So I'm just going to start swatching. So we've got some mattes and then some shimmer and then some that are like more glittery shimmer. So I'm going to do the first, the top row. They don't have names. I'm so sorry. I can't tell you. Ooh. 
And listen, I like the products. It's nothing against the products. Okay. Oh, this one is, hold on, let me give it a little help. All right, so this is the top row. And I don't have names, but I can tell you it's like a kind of a dark fuchsia shimmer. This one is more glittery. And it's like a more purple pink shimmer. And then this is a matte. I'm going to go back in on the matte because I think it's not. Oh, that's better. Okay. It's really pretty. It's like a nice fuchsia matte. Okay. Reading the comments. Hey, April. Kat, yeah. So Kat Von D, well, she sold her company to one of those big ones that does like Estee Lauder or whatever. So that's how that happened. And then, yeah. So a lot of people feel like that about Jeffree Star. Um, so it's just good. I think it's just good for us to, ooh, to talk. <laughs> to talk about stuff because I feel like sometimes people don't know and they would want to know. So here's the second row. Look at this chrome one in the middle. I don't think I showed you the little fingertips for the first row. I'm sorry. All right. So this is a matte that looks like a deep burgundy purple. And then this one is the chrome shade and it's more like a true purple. Uh -oh, I'm getting off to the side. So there you go. And then this last one is a real eggplanty blue purple shimmer, but not a glitter. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. Look at that. Ooh, God. Y'all, purple is one of my favorite colors. Black, <laughs> purple are really in the top here. Okay, so then we have one more row left. We've got a like rose matte, a more champagne shimmer, and a like fuchsia, true fuchsia shimmer. That's, I guess, the chrome. I guess all the shimmers are supposed to be chromes. Oh, that looks really pretty. Okay, so we've got the matte. This is the like more champagne-y color. And then that fuchsia shimmer. So, okay, there's the whole thing. It looks gorgeous. Really, really pretty. See, this is the problem. I don't want to like their products this much, but they're all nice. Like I received a lipstick a while ago in a box and it was beautiful. And then I received another liquid lipstick from them more recently and it is gorgeous and I wear it because I have it, you know, I'm not going to not wear it, but it kind of bums me out. Okay. So again, here's the palette. So pretty, so pretty. Unfortunately, uh, she sucks, but it's gorgeous. <laughs> if you get this in your box, you should be very excited because it's very nice. Um, okay. Comments. Cat, you'll be more aware now and not support the brand. And that's the thing is like, if those things matter to you, then I want you to know. But like also not everyone is going to be like, well, I won't buy that brand anymore. Some people will still buy the brand. You do you. I just like to tell. Um, Leah, speaking of transphobia, did you see what, yes, Lisa Blondino, the sister of Two-Face CEO said when Nikki tutorials came out. Yeah, it's super messed up. Um, and like, honestly, kind of not surprising from Two-Face since they've been embroiled in other scandals before. Um, but I did appreciate that um, Jared Blondino at least like immediately fired her. Um, so, I mean, at least there's that. But it's, yes, super messed up. Um, hey, Roxy, you don't wear makeup, but you watch all my videos. <laughs> um, I have heard that many times from people. Um, I watch a lot of makeup videos on YouTube and don't wear makeup every day. But I have gotten um, a lot more into makeup in the past few years and it has become a really fun thing for me to do, especially like as somebody, oh, my face is so hot, I'm getting red. It's hot in here. Um, I should have turned the air down before I came in here. But yeah, as somebody who has chronic health issues and like 
I work from home. I spend a lot of time at home. It's become kind of a fun thing that I can do at home that is a little different from maybe how I spend the rest of my time. And it actually sometimes makes me want to go out more. So that's kind of cool. Um, I still have eyeshadow on my arm. Oh, not surprised. It's fine. I have to take a shower later anyway. Um, but thank you for telling me they matter to me because there are so many good brands to support. Yeah. There's so many brands to give your money to like, that's how I think it's like, why continue to give it to somebody who doesn't feel good to you? Okay. Last thing in the box besides the bag, which I'll show you is from space case cosmetics. These are seen from space highlighter duo. Ooh, cream to powder texture is buttery soft and blends like a breeze cruelty free and vegan all right so we've got two highlighters omg i have so many highlighters now because last month in the um allure box they gave you or they gave me an anastasia anastasia um highlighter palette which is very exciting okay so here are the highlighters they are Big pants. I'm sure they're not this deep. Yeah. So they're like eyeshadow depth, but they're just big. And so let's look at both shades. It looks like we have one that is a little more bronzy, which is this guy over here, which is the color 1B, and then the color that is less bronzy, which is 1C. So we're going to swatch these and try to get... Oh, oh, I forgot. It said cream to powder. Whoa. Okay. That was crazy. All right. So it feels so weird. It definitely feels creamy. Sorry, that was just really bizarre. So here's the color, maybe less in the light. So you can see how it's a little bit deeper. And then here it is in the light. It's very reflective but that's also you know like nobody puts on highlighter like that so let me just kind of blend it out for you a little bit which is a little more how you might actually put it on can you see so that really blended into my skin that's kind of crazy so in person I can see it I think maybe you at home may not be able to see it as well um so that was the first shade my finger is really shiny okay second one I'm ready now for the crazy texture. It's very appealing. So I'm gonna put it down here. So that's much lighter. It really blends into my super pale arm, um, but you can see the shine. And then I'll just kind of blend it out. So it just leaves a really beautiful sheen on my arm, but that really matters. <laughs> It really matches my skin. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Cat, I love makeup. My daughter and I bond over it. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, Jamie, I don't think he fired her. I think S.A. Lauder made him get rid of her. Oh, yeah. That sounds more likely. <laughs> um, makeup Geek just rebranded, and the founder also has a plus-size clothing line. Oh, I didn't know that... Uh, Marlena, what's her name? Marlena Stell, I think, had a clothing line. That's interesting. Um, Venus, you love highlighters. You have the Anastasia highlighter, Anastasia highlighter. Um, people say they feel like ColourPop Super Shock shadows. Yeah, so that definitely reminds me um, of the Super Shock shadows from ColourPop, but these are even more like cold feeling and creamy than the Super Shock shadows. Um, I really like that. And, and it really blended out well. I think I'll put some on my face. Um, the highlighter is gorgeous. You love ColourPop. Do, 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 do. Her clothing line is called Marsten. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do the deeper color on me. And I'm just going to go in. It's very appealing, the texture. I just put a lot on my finger. So we're just going to go here and then start... blending. I didn't put on a ton. So that's a little bit there. You can definitely see the highlighter. And so if you wanted, if you're like, I want more, I have some more on my finger. So I'm just going to go put that on. I really like how easily it blends out. Ooh. Um, 
it's like working with a cream product, but then the finish feels powdery. Fun. Okay. I'm excited about these. I'm going to give these a try for sure. Um, and I actually wanted to get rid of some of the highlighters that I do have because I find myself not reaching for them for various reasons. So this is um, maybe a good time to get highlighters. Okay. It's like give myself a bath in front of everyone. Fun. <sighs> okay. So that was, that was all the items in the box. I'm going to show you the bag and then we're going to talk about Tatcha. I'm so hot. All right, so here's the bag. It looks like marble and then a kind of vaguely rose silvery metallic here. The other side is just the marble. And then it's pink in here. And so on the outside, there's no Ipsy branding, which I really like. <laughs> it does have it on the inside and that's fine, but um, I don't like when it's like their name all over it. It makes me like, I don't like anything with its name all over it. Um, like I don't want to pay for the privilege to advertise your company. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Woo, we made it. So here's a recap of Ipsy. We had the nineties lipstick, which I like, but it's not nineties. I think we all agreed on that. The Perlice eye serum, the Hanalei lip treatment, the two space case highlighters, Cool. and the Huda Beauty eyeshadow. I think this was a great box. Um, like my feelings about Huda aside, the quality is nice. The colors are really pretty. I do like the lip treatment and it's huge. It's going to last forever. This is a really good sized um, tube of this eye serum and from a company that I already like. The lipstick is nice. It's just not 90s. If they wouldn't have said 90s, I would have no complaints about it. And these highlighters are freaking gorgeous. I think that they'll be really nice like on the eye. Ooh, ooh. I just thought about that. So I'm using you as a mirror, which never goes well for me. But like for a quick eye look, you know, because these blend so easily. I think that um, it would be really pretty. And I am a fan of a shimmering eye. So that blended out really natural. Like if you're going for a natural look, I think you could build it up also. But I think it looks pretty. Just like some reflection. Okay. I'm going to leave one eye just like that and not do the other eye. <laughs> Can you have the highlighters? Use highlighters, eyeshadow when you're in the mood. Oh, my God. We're on the same wavelength, Venus. Okay. And now it's time to talk about Tatcha. Um, and I'm really excited. So here is the box that I just received from them. And um, I want to talk about the brand and skincare in general. And um, I literally don't even remember what it was, but I really liked it. So I um, bought the like starter kit. They call it, I think, the ritual starter kit where you get... Um, the oil cleanser, the rice polish, the essence, and a moisturizer. And so they have different kinds for like regular skin, oily skin, um, super dry slash mature skin, and then sensitive. So I bought it in the sensitive range. And so that means that the rice polish and the moisturizer are tailored to your skin concerns. Um, and so then the oil cleanser and the essence are the same for everybody. Um, and I loved it. And so when I bought that ritual starter kit, it was around the new year and they were doing this thing called the lucky bag. It has a Japanese name. Um, Fuku, Fukuburu, I think um, is what it's called, but it's where if you spent a hundred dollars, they would send you a lucky bag or a fukuburu. I don't know what it's, I don't remember what it's called. I'm a terrible Japanese person. Um, which is just a bag of products valued at at least a hundred dollars. And I was like, well, if I'm going to buy this really expensive skincare. At least I could get like, you know, to try some other stuff. And so I went ahead and did it. And I got my products and I got the lucky bag and it was like $150 or something worth of products. And I was like, holy crap, this is so cool. And it was stuff that I hadn't ordered. So I got to try different things. I started using the Tatcha products. Um, 
And I'm pretty good. Like I'm pretty good about like morning and night, you know, washing, doing the whole routine. So that hasn't really been a problem for me. Um, and it really has made a difference. Um, Bobby, the calming rice polish is one of your Holy Grail skincare products. Yeah, like this stuff is just amazing. And I know there's lots of really good skincare out there. And I know that there's lots of really good skincare that doesn't cost as much. Absolutely. This shit is expensive for sure. Um, it has changed my skin. When I started this, I've been for a couple of years really trying to experiment with different brands for my very sensitive skin. And things like I mentioned earlier, like I tried... Um, Codaly products and they worked for a while, but then I think my skin was just like too sensitive for them. And then um, I think this light is also making me hotter. I feel like I'm getting so red. Um, so Codaly was working. I was using the Origins um, like Mega Mushroom line and that worked for a long time. That was my go-to for a long time, but then it wasn't working for me anymore. And my skin was getting drier. I was like, like I talked about here, like just waking up with just like scaly super dry crusty skin like here and here and I was like what is happening I would like super moisturize when I went to bed wake up I'm a lizard what is happening um and so took the chance on trying Tatcha and within a month my skin was already changed it was so cool and this is like obviously or not obviously maybe it's not sponsored. I wish. Please, Tatcha, fucking sponsor me because your product is expensive and I love it so much. Um, but so I obviously deal with redness um, when I'm hot, but also just like when I'm not hot. And so for a long time, I thought I had rosacea. Now I'm not so sure that it is rosacea because I went to the dermatologist and they were like, I don't think it's rosacea and whatever. And I've tried different products and it didn't help. So I don't really know what's going on with my skin. Who knows? However, I had a lot of texture through here um, that was just not going away. And I would exfoliate and exfoliate and exfoliate and moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. And it didn't go away. I started using their products. Holy crap. It went away. Now my skin through here is like really smooth. And there's like little, you know, t tiny bumps or whatever in places. Um, and I have some whiteheads that I need to deal with. But overall, like, holy crap, my skin has changed so much. And so I was using the oil cleanser. And then followed by the foaming rice polish. And that's an exfoliator where it starts off a little grainy, like super micro grains or whatever, but you add water and lather it in your hands and the grains disintegrate and it's not rough. And so that I think was really helpful for me was finding an exfoliant that didn't irritate my skin. And so using that and then um, the essence, which I still don't really understand what the essence is. <laughs> They sell it as something that helps the rest of your skincare work more effectively. What I can tell you is I would do the rice polish, dry my face, and it would feel like very clean, right? Um, like it needs moisture. And then I would put the essence on and it would feel like, not like, oh, I just moisturized, but like, oh, like it's like my skin is ready. I don't know. It sounds so weird. Anyone else who knows about skincare, Leah, if you're still here and if you know like what the essence is or that kind of a thing is, if you could tell us, but I would put that on and automatically my skin felt not as, you know, like not stripped. It never felt stripped. Anyway, it felt like better. And then I would moisturize um, and using the sensitive skin, the indigo, whatever. Um, and it was so good. And so it's four steps, which is, you know, for some people a lot, for some people they do like 12 step skincare. So it was fine for me. Um, the number of steps is okay. So I've been using those products the whole year. My skin has really changed. I don't wake up with like lizard skin anymore. Um, my skin tone is more even. I started using also their vitamin C serum and I like it. I still have some left. I did switch to something else in September because I got something in my Love Ike box that I really wanted to try. But I literally last night just finished that um, product. And so I'm going to go back to the Tatcha product now. Um, I don't know if I will repurchase it because I get a lot of similar things. Um, for example, this would be a similar product that I could try. This is what I got in my um, Allure box. So... I've tried out their vitamin C mask and I like it a lot. I've never bought the full size product, but I've gotten samples of it before. Um, so all of this is to say that great, it's great. 
I love it. It works so well, but it is pricey. And so I did run out of essence. And instead of using that, I'm using this mist that I also got in my most recent Love Ike box, which says it's like the same thing. It, it says like that it prepares your skin for the rest of your skincare. So I feel like it's a, maybe a good substitute. So I've been using that. I'm going to see how it goes. It's a big bottle. So it's going to take me a long time to use it. Um, okay. Comments. The essence helps the skincare sink deeper into your skin. Yeah. So that's pretty much like as much as I understand about it. Um, Leah says when your skin is irritated, the inflammation caused by that irritation dries it out and keeps it from healing. Well, that makes sense. Um, Belvedere green, same, no clue what the essence products are supposed to do in my routine, but I bought them. So I'm going to use them. And um, Jamie Lynn, I just started using Tatcha. So I'm excited that you've experienced good results. Oh my God. It's amazing. Like I'm so glad that I tried it, which brings me to this box. I um, was, I'm nearing the end of my current moisturizer that I use from them. And so speaking of how expensive it is, I have switched out. I'm using that mist from my Love Ike box instead of repurchasing the essence because the bottle of essence that I bought is $95 and it does last a very long time. And I probably will repurchase it in the future, which says a lot because I am not made of money. <laughs> But I would save up my money, you know, to purchase these skincare products. That's how much I like them. But now, because I have this other product, I'm going to use it. And then the rice polish, when I'm out of this one, I'm going to try to use some of the other similar products that I have gotten through boxes and see if I like them. And if I don't like them, if they don't work as well, I'm 100% going to repurchase my Tatcha Calming Rice Polish. Um, okay. Okay. Venus, that's very sweet. Thank you so much. Um, essences are a very light moisturizer. Think of a dry sponge versus a damp sponge. That makes sense. Thank you. <laughs> so it's a light moisturizer. Just kind of gets you ready. Okay. So I did go in and purchase some items because I saw that they were doing their lucky bag thing again this year. And I was like, had been wondering if they were going to do it because if they were going to do it, I was definitely going to place an order because it was such a good deal last year. I don't remember exactly what I got, but it definitely was like over the um, estimated value. They said it would be at least a hundred dollars worth of products. And it was like 150 or 140 or something. Um, so I went ahead and purchased, which we're going to see in this box, which I'll just go ahead and freaking open instead of talking about it. All I did was slit the tape. So here is the box and it's such a nice experience like opening their products. Um, so I bought my moisturizer because I know that it's doing a lot for me. So I definitely like feel like it's worth repurchasing and that's $85. And then I um, wanted to hit the hundred dollar mark so I could get the lucky bag. So I went ahead and bought um, something that I've looked at on their website a number of times and never purchased, which is their exfoliating camellia soap. Um, and it is just a bar of soap, right? It's for your body though. And I um, like to take baths as like a little treat or whatever. And so I like to buy really nice products that feel special to me for my bath. And so I thought I'll put this um, on my, I have a wooden tray that goes across my bathtub. So I'm going to put this on that tray and this will be just for use when I'm taking these like special self-care baths. So I sure as hell am not going to put a $15 bar of soap in my regular shower because my husband will just ah. And I'm like, no, you have to appreciate it. <laughs> so I'll put it in my bathtub and um, and I will appreciate it every time I use it. And so I got to exactly $100 so that I could get this, which is the lucky bag. Whew, that was a lot of me like spewing out information. Um, Jamie Lynn for Tatcha products, catch it on QVC. Sometimes they have great bundle deals. Ooh interesting okay i've never looked there before but that's good to know i will take a deal on tasha products for sure um okay and so i just opened the box and on top is this so we're going to open this and here we go so inside is just a, a nice little note they always do this which is very sweet it's an experience right they know that their stuff is expensive so they do little things that feel like they add value and so that you are like less sad about how much money you just spent um so it just says dear laura enjoy these treasures always tatcha and inside is like the packing slip receipt thing and also in there were the samples so you do get samples and i chose the 
Ageless Enriching Renewal Cream. This is like their line for um, aging skin or like mature skin, which, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. And then a sample of the vitamin C mask because I, you know, always like to have those. And then um, a sample of the Dewy Skin Cream um, because this is just a little bit lighter. I've tried it before. And so sometimes like this is good, especially like for the summer, I might want to reach for that. Okay. So then this is the box right here. So this is my moisturizer. This is the soap. This is the lucky bag. So I'll just show you the moisturizer. It is 1.7 fluid ounces. A little does go a long way. That's not the opening. Um, it's so nice to get their products because the packaging is super luxurious feeling. <laughs> like I, I just spent $85 on this tub of goo, you know? Um, and I just love all the colors of everything and like the information that they give you about stuff. Um, just like the information about this product on this like really pretty like rice paper. Um, so here's the tub. This is the indigo cream. This is for the sensitive skin. On top, it does come with this spatula that you can use to scoop your product out. And then it's always sealed just with a little piece of washi tape. And then it has the seal on the inside and then the product. So there you go. Um, I really like this moisturizer. I have tried a sample of, oh, there was some on there. Um, I think all the other moisturizers that they have, and they're all really nice, but I like this one because it's made for sensitive skin and I certainly am that person. Um, I think that it's really moisturizing without being super heavy. Like I will even layer a serum over this, um, like during the winter when it's actually cold in the winter. So like not right now. Um, I really like it a lot. Bobby, you've been tempted to buy this moisturizer for the price hold you back. I get it. <laughs> I get it. I really love it. It has worked wonders for me. So um, I find the the white one, I think it's the silk cream is the white one that's for regular skin. The water cream is for oily skin. Um, both of those are not enough for me, especially the water cream. The dewy cream, or what's it called? The dewy skin cream is probably almost enough for me or is would be enough for me in the summer. The um, one for mature skin, this will be the first time I tried it. So I haven't tried this one yet. Um, but I just really love the, the indigo cream. I just think it's great. Um, and then here's the soap. I'm not going to open it yet because I'm not ready for that. But um, it looks, you know, I'm sure it's going to be really nice. It's a bar of soap. Like how amazing is it? I think the ingredients here are what um, are really going to do nice things. People, the reviews on the soap are really high <laughs> on the web website. People are like, I know it's just a bar of soap, but it's so good. So the ingredients are really nice. Um, olive oil, camellia oil coconut oil, honey, rice bran oil, um, rice bran, I guess is the like exfoliant in here. I think it has a little bit of a fragrance, but nothing too much. Um, anyway, I'm really excited about this. It feels like a really special treat for me. <laughs> um, oh, Bobby, you have the water cream and it's not enough for you. Yeah, it wouldn't be enough. Okay, so here is the lucky bag. So it's in this um, like really pretty paper. And then I'm just gonna Okay. So I'm so excited to see what's in here. Inside there's tissue paper and some items. There's definitely a mask in here which I'm really excited about. Their face masks are bomb and expensive. All right, so purple tissue paper and open it up. So here are the items and then a little paper to tell you about them. So I'm very excited to see that the cleansing oil is included. This is almost an ounce. Um, this is not their travel size. Their travel size is much smaller than this. I, this is like, 
maybe, oh, this is the size that comes in the um, starter kit. Um, Cause I was like, I've had this before. Anyway, a little goes a long way with this. So this is like, you know, probably a month's worth of products in here. So that's very exciting. Um, somebody's pulling into my driveway. Hopefully they're just turning around. Um, okay. And then we have the water cream. So speaking of the water cream, so I'll probably hang on to this for summer. Um, smells nice. Cause it's just like not enough for me. Um, so probably closer to summer is when I'll start using this <coughs> because it is like right now, not enough. And then we've got, Ooh, I've never tried this. Um, these before I've got the luminous deep hydration lifting mask. So this is a full sheet mask. And then, Oh, two, two of the luminous deep hydration revitalizing eye masks. So I've got, I'm sure there's two inside. So two applications worth, um, their masks are really expensive. And I know that these masks are even more expensive than the kind that I have tried. I'm pretty sure this, this sheet mask is $25, I think. And I don't know um, how much the eye masks are because I've never like, I've like looked at this and like put it in my card and taken it out of my card or whatever. So I'm really excited um, for that. And then the eye masks are very exciting. Speaking of like, you know, wanting to help zhuzh up my under eye area. Those are going to be really nice. I imagine that the pricing for these is along the line of the their regular sheet mask, which is $12 a pop. So I'm guessing this is probably close to $12 a pop also. Um, and then the last item in here is something that I'm really excited to try that I never would have purchased, like never would have purchased. Let me just put that out there. It is their um, Camellia Lip Balm. I happen to know, because I've looked at it, I happen to know that this is $35. $35, which is crazy. Um, it's so pretty. It's in the color Plum Blossom. Really pretty. So this is a lip balm infused with all their like whatever skincare stuff in a pretty color. And we're going to try it on because of course we are. Okay, comments. Uh... Venus, I can't uh, hardly afford it. Yeah, no, I get it. This is very expensive. This, this is like a treat. Like I have prioritized skincare over other things, believe me. <laughs> um, so Bobby says Sephora came out with their own skincare line that is legit pretty good and definitely on the cheaper side. Still not super cheap though. Hmm. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying is like there's good skincare that doesn't cost this much for sure. Okay, so I'm just going to try this out. This is so fun. Oh my God. I never would have paid $35 for this. So it's just like a tinted balm. It's not like a huge whatever. Oh, it feels good. This is like the day for lip treatments. So they do make like lipsticks, which are super expensive. So it's just like a tiny wash of color. The formula is thin, not sticky, which is good. Yeah, it feels nice. Okay, so that's the lip treatment or the lip balm, which is also a treatment. Um, so I know that this is 35. I know that this is 25. I'm guessing that th these are 12 each, so 24. This, I think, is $20 or $25. I don't remember uh, maybe 20. And then I think these size of creams are $20. So I don't know what that is. Where's my, so just estimating if anybody wants to look up actuals. Um, okay. So I know that the big mask is 25. I'm going to guess that the two are 12 plus the dewy. No, the water cream is 20. I'm pretty sure for that size. Wait, I can't remember what I did already. Okay. Water cream, 20. The masks, 35 for the lip balm. And I'm going to say 
maybe 15 for the oil just to be on the safe side. So that's $119. So they promise $100 worth of product and mine is 119 around something like that. So yeah, again, like more than advertised. Um, this I already know and love. This I'm excited about because it feels like a treat because I never would have purchased this ever in my life. That's crazy. Um, this one will be good for the summer. This is probably the thing I'm least excited about just because I know it's like not enough for me. Um, but I do know that it'll be nice. Um, and that I can also always layer over it. So like I'll kind of always take their moisturizer, like whatever moisturizer they want to give me, I'll take it. But like of the ones that I could have hoped for, this is like the one that would be at the bottom of the list. Um, but I'm sure it's still great. And then all the masks. OMG. This is very exciting, especially this one because um, it's too expensive. <laughs> $25 for a mask is ridiculous. Um, so I probably never would have purchased this uh, or these. So it's very fun to get them in the bag. Okay. Yay. I did it. It's been an hour and 16 minutes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> for all the boxes. Let me look at the comments. Um, oh, Bobby had to leave. Bye. <laughs> the simple brand. Oh, yeah. Sarah V. I think that's how I say it. I don't know how other people say it. Isn't terribly expensive and it's pretty nice as drugstore, as an easily accessible drugstore brand. Yeah. And Cetaphil. Yeah. So I, for a long time, used um, Cetaphil and CeraVe, the cleanser and uh, moisturizer. And those were good for me for a long time, um, but they never helped me with texture. So I think that if you don't have as like many problems as I did uh, in regards to that, then they're probably great and plenty. Um, okay. Well, that was like a really long video with a lot of products in it. I'm very excited to try out so many of these. Um, if you have more questions about skincare, leave them in the comment section and hopefully other people will reply to you. I'll reply with what I know, but listen, I'm no expert. Um, but if you come across comments and you do know something, like please comment back to them uh, and let them know. We are a community of people helping each other figure stuff out. Um, so, okay, well, I'm going to go because it's been a very long and... Um, yeah, you're probably tired of me. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, those of you who are here live. And then if you watch this later, please feel free to comment about any of this stuff um, or ask questions if you want recommendations for anything. Like we're such a good resource for each other. So if you are like, oh, I, you know, I want a new bronzer or whatever, you know, like put it out there and then we'll all give you recommendations as to what we like and why we like it. And uh, we can help each other. All right. Well, have a great day. Um, just so that you know, I do still have a Patreon account. Um, and if you would like to join as a patron, then for only like $2 a month, you can get access to the Facebook group. And as of this month, I'm really ramping up what I'm doing in the Facebook group. So I'm going to be doing um, behind the scenes videos from like inside the dressing room or the yoga studio. I'm going to be doing first looks at packages that I get. So that's where you'll see me open the package and like show you what's in it. And then the YouTube video will be where I like really get into it. Um, I'm also going to do um, my weekly chatty videos where we just talk about whatever. Um, and I let you know what's going on in my life and then you can talk back to me. So if that is appealing to you, please come and um, join Patreon as a patron. It's $2 a month. Um, if you just want more of me. <laughs> and if not, then I will see you here on YouTube. And uh, I hope you have a really good rest of your day. I hope you're feeling loved and supported. And please know that if you're not, that I am sending you love and support right now. And I hope that you can feel that. All right, y'all. I'll see you next time.